Hi, my beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Mary Hernandez with part three of the law. <laughs> the law of Moses is the law of our father Jehovah. Um, you know, I just stress that enough. Um, I believe I was talking as far as um, no mediums and all that, and I'm just going to close it up. You open portals to the darkness. And you might think it's all innocent. Oh my God, I want to hear my... Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not go to witches that you want this done. You open portals. You have no idea. But some of you have probably figured out on this journey that it's not worth it. You remember in the Bible how it talked about how Saul did that, of course. You know, of course, you know, he got in trouble for that. And what happened? God sent Samuel through that portal. What? Why are you waking me up? You know? God is powerful. God is very powerful. And you walk around with that Holy Spirit of our Father Jehovah. You're also very gifted and very talented. Um, life has pretty much tarnished us down that we forgot who we were. And your identity is everything in here. And coming back to our Father is everything. And that's what he's doing. That's what he's bringing these children back to their identities that it was lost. Do you remember in Holocaust? Um how Hitler had him with numbers. Do you remember that? Um, if you ever seen the documentary of it, it was horrible what they did to our ancestors, you know. We were known by numbers. You know, he's taking you out of that number set and he's bringing into your identity, your name. You know, and he's bringing this world back to him as well out of the hands of a dictator, you know. And this is the truth and you can't tell me you don't see it. With everything that's going around, it's really um, evil towards good, you know, our Father Jehovah. And they were just trying to shut up a lot of the witnesses and the truth coming out. But here we are. And the truth is bringing deliverance. He brought deliverance to me. He brought healing to me. And he brought me back to the identity. And he awoke me. And that's what he's doing with you through his children, you know. That you're worth a lot more than what you think. We all are. We don't deserve to be living in the ways of uh, the world when you and your family deserve so much more. You know, now we go to Leviticus 19, 18. Um, the other one that I did, I did the Bible verses, but what I'm going to do in this video, put all Leviticus 19 on that one, um, just for your FYI. And then probably in the front, I'm going to put the ones that I read, the Spirit of God has made me and the breath of the Almighty. I'll just put the Bible verse so you can look at it. And um, all the, pretty much just almost like a little breakdown of our, of the Ten Commandments. And um, in a more detail, a little bit more in it, you know, in case somebody says. So it's in Leviticus 19 as well. But if you read the whole chapter, you're able to... It all comes together. It says, uh, Leviticus 19, 18. Do not seek revenge and bear a grudge against anyone among your people. Love your neighbor as yourself, and I am the Lord. Keep my degrees and do not make different kinds of animals. Do not plant your field in two kinds of seed. Do not wear clothing woven of two kinds of material. If any man sleeps with a female slave who is promised to another man, but who has not been ransom or given her freedom that there must be a due punishment and yet do not put and be put to death because she has not been freed do you get it he that is free is free indeed if you go get into a relationship go sleep with someone then you're selling yourself and you're still in bondage and this is to set you free it's okay to be alone for a minute you know he's doing everything for a minute and I'm going to read that tomorrow, um, how it's in there. It is just so beautiful how the Bible keeps continuing to give me revelation. But um, the law, I had to finish that and close it up. Um, now it says, um, and I'm going to do one probably here in a couple of days with God's willing about identity. I ended up finding out some info, but it is so beautiful. Um, now Leviticus 19.21 the man, however, must bring a rain to the entrance of the tent and the meeting for the guilt offering to the Lord. Sorry, my nose. 
It says the ram is guilty. It says the ram of the guilt offering is the priest to make an atonement for him before the Lord and for the sin that he has committed. But his sin will be forgiven. When you enter into the land, plant of any kind of bare fruit, regard the fruit as is forbidden for the three years you are to consider it forbidden, that it must not be eaten. But in the fourth year of the fruit, it will be holy offering praise to the Lord. On the fifth year that you may eat the fruit and the way of your harvest will be increased that I am the Lord your God. It says, do not eat any meat with blood still in it. Do not practice divination or seek almonds. It's bad. Do not cut the hair on the sides of your head or clip on the edges of your beard. Do not cut your bodies for the dead. For the dead. Or put tattoo marks on yourself that I am the Lord. Do not degree your daughter. Do not, do not degrade your daughter by making her a prostitute to the land that it will turn to prostitution and fill with the wickedness. Observe my Sabbath that I have reverence of my sanctuary that I am the Lord. I'm almost done here. It says, do not turn to mediums or seek the spirits that you will be defiled by them. And I am the Lord, your God. Stand up in the presence of the age and show respect for your elderly and receive your God that I am the Lord. When the foreigners reside among you in the land, do not mistreat them. The foreigners reside among you, you must treat it in your native born. Love them as yourself, for you are foreigners in Egypt, that I am the Lord your God. Do not use dishonest standards and use measures, length and weight and quantity. Use honest scales and honest weights and honest ephod and honest hen, and I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I'm actually want to do uh, a little bit more research to understand what Leviticus 19, 35, and 36. Um, more in debt, like what does that mean? I want info. <laughs> it says, um, of course, I know that he brought us out of the land of Egypt, but what does that mean? It says, do use, it says, do not use dishonest standards or measures, length, weight, and quantity. Oh, do not. Use the honest scales and honest weights and honest of the ephod and honest of the hen that I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. Keep all your degrees and all my laws and follow them that I am the Lord. You know, it just goes a little bit into details, not all, but um, into more in depth of it. I did a Bible study on Wednesday, on one of my Wednesdays, 